Hello YouTube friends. Happy National Lipstick Day. There's a cat tail right there. Yes, there's a cat who's decided to join me. This, let's see if I can get a good shot of her. This is Wookie. Hi kitty. Yeah, now you think you're gonna get attention, huh? Hang on, I gotta pet a cat. As I was saying, I'm gonna share with you guys my top five lipstick picks. Some of these are my favorite shade and some are my favorite formulas. If you're new here, hi, my name is Meredith and welcome to my channel, Maribel Traits. I do all kinds of unboxings, beauty, lifestyle, and fashion. I have a lipstick obsession and I also do grocery hauls and shopping hauls and whatever else I happen to be up to at the moment so that we don't get bored. If that sounds like a good time, hit the red subscribe button down below, ring the bell, and don't forget to give this one a thumbs up and we can hang out more often. All right, so the first one is actually the one that I'm wearing uh, to start off our list of favorites and that is from Charlotte Tilbury. This is in the shade Very Victoria. I absolutely love this shade and this is her um, this is her matte lipstick formula. So this is what it looks like. Obviously the packaging is beautiful. Um, this one is a little on the pricier side. I think it retails for $34 a piece. So I don't own too many of these. I did also try her famous Pillow Talk lipstick. I have more of a sample trial size of that one. And to be honest, the two shades are very similar. I'm gonna swatch them for you so you can see the two side by side. This one has just a hint more of a, like a peachy tone, the Pillow Talk one, and Very Victoria has just a little bit more of a uh, pinky and a little bit more brown undertone. But as you can see, okay, so this is Pillow Talk and this is Very Victoria. They're so similar. So if you own one, you definitely do not need to own the other unless you really just love, you know, more nude natural lipsticks. Uh, my personal favorite, I think I actually look better in Very Victoria, but I don't think I look bad in either one. And there's a motorcycle going by. <laughs> but anyways, so absolutely love this formula. It goes on creamy. It has a lovely smell. Um, do I think I need to own every shade in this collection? No. Would I like to? Sure. Maybe when I win the lottery, but until then. Um, absolutely love this formula, and I can see buying some more Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks in the future. I have been really happy with them. So those are the first ones. Very Victoria is my shade pick. The second lipstick, I want to keep it kind of even between drugstore and high-end. The second formula that I absolutely love and I own multiple shades in is the NYX uh, Soft Matte Lip Cream or Creme and this one is in the shade Rome. This would be my absolute favorite. Uh, it's very, very pretty. Now because this one is a matte, once you put it on you can't really wipe it back off so I'm just going to give you a swatch of that one. And I own several shades but this one is a great sort of everyday beautiful shade but if you want your lips to stand out a little bit more so maybe you aren't wanting that like vibrant punch of red but you really want to look like you're wearing lipstick and be maybe just a little bit fancier i absolutely think this is a great one this is a good like wedding lipstick if you're going to be in photos maybe as like mother of the bride or groom or bridesmaid even bride you never know if you're wanting something a little bit more like your lips but a little bit deeper in tone. I think it's a really beautiful shade and again this one is in the shade Rome. And then I do own two others. Um, they have a metallic one. This one's called Budapest and to be honest it's almost the same shade as Rome. I prefer them not metallic. It was fun and like maybe for holiday time it's great but most of the year I'm not going to reach for a metallic lipstick. And then I also have Sao Paulo, which is really pretty. Um, it's a little more pink upon application, which I will show you. Oh, there it is right there. Then it looks, the tube to be honest makes you look like you're going to get more of like a slightly dusty salmon color, but it really does come out quite pink. So to be honest, I don't feel like based on how it looks on me that this is necessarily the most flattering. I feel like this is a little bit too uh, purple based. Of a tone so if you are cooler toned and you want like a fun pop of pink this is a great shade and then I also have the uh, shade Monte Carlo this was a gift from a friend hey Kayla and um, 
I really love this one. This one is bold and fun and ends up being very uh, vibrant on the lip. And it's right there. So I really like that one's just a little bit more red and it works really well with my skin tone. So I would say if your skin tone is neutral to cool, it's a great shade. So overall, these NYX lipsticks run between like four and six dollars, probably depending on where you buy them usually. I want to say at Target I've paid like $5.49 maybe. Um, so absolutely great bang for your buck. So if you're looking for just a fun lip color at the drugstore, picking it up at like your local Walmart or Target or CVS, wherever, these are a great formula. So highly recommend and obviously I own more than one. I like them. Okay, another one where I love the formula and own multiple colors is the NARS uh, Velvet Matte Lip Pencil. Now I own this in five colors, been absolutely happy with it. This might be like, if I had to pick, I would say these two are like my favorite formula, the Charlotte Tilbury and the NARS absolutely gorgeous. I did a whole unboxing video of a Sephora haul with all of these um, so you can really see all those shades more in depth but I own the shades Do Me Baby, Bad Girl, Dulce Vita, Dance Fever, and Cruella all of which are gorgeous. Um, they have a lot of like really, I'll show you the tones, really wearable shades. I like that they put the color tone on the bottom of the lipstick so you can really see what you're getting. I would say for the most part they're pretty close. Um, if I had to pick one, you guys know I'm a big fan of red lipsticks, so the shade Cruella is probably my favorite. I think it's just so pretty. And I like the pencil sort of crayon formula. I feel like you just get such better detail that way. And um, I have been informed that actually, even though this casing is plastic, you can actually take a pencil sharpener and sharpen that. So that's kind of cool. So you get a lot more use than you would think out of that. So really love this formula. And then the last two are both drugstore, and I just have a one of each of these formulas. And the first one is the NYX Lingerie Push-Up Lipstick, and it is a pencil crayon style lipstick. It does come with a sharpener on the end, and I absolutely love this shade. I'll swatch it for you. It has this sort of like really pretty almost like brick red tone to it. If you are looking for a great shade going into fall and you want like a brighter, deeper red lipstick, this one is gorgeous. It's in the shade Exotic. And I feel like these retail like around the $8 mark. Absolutely love, love, love it. And then the last, a uh, last lipstick I have to share, number five is also a crayon. Can you see I have sort of a a theme going on here. I prefer the pencil crayon style lipsticks. <laughs> the last one is by Maybelline and this is their Superstay Ink Crayon. This one also comes with a sharpener on the end and it is that crayon formula and this one is absolutely gorgeous. So this one is a little bit brighter versus the more brick toned one back here. So I really like this one. It's bright, it's vibrant, it's a gorgeous shade. I have owned this one, actually both of these, uh, for almost a year now and I absolutely love them. I reach for them consistently. Uh, this formula, the Maybelline one, is a little more creamy than the NYX formula or the NARS formula. So just FYI, somebody did point this out to me that the uh, NARS formulas are not, NARS as a brand is not cruelty free, so if that is a conviction of yours you might want to know that up front. So just FYI and to be honest, don't know if any of these other ones say whether they are or not. I feel like usually if they aren't, or if they are, they usually put it right on the packaging that they're cruelty free. So anyways, that is everything for you guys. So tell me down below, do you have a favorite lipstick? And if so, what is it? Do you have a favorite formula, a favorite shade? Let's talk all of the lipstick since it is National Lipstick Day here. Uh, it's Wednesday, August 29th as I'm filming this in case you're watching this later on, but these are my my top fave picks So definitely let me know your faves down below and of course I'll be talking to you soon I've got some really fun videos coming up. So definitely stay tuned and make sure you've hit that red 
uh, subscribe bell and hit the notification bell as well because you don't want to miss out. <laughs> All right. Talk to you soon, guys. Bye-bye.